President Kennedy imposed a naval and air quarantine tonight on the shipment of offensive military equipment to Cuba. In a speech of extraordinary gravity, he told the American people that the Soviet Union, contrary to promises, was building offensive missile and bomber bases in Cuba. He said the bases could handle missiles carrying nuclear warheads up to 2,000 miles. The president has decided on a direct confrontation with, and challenge to, the power of the Soviet Union. And now over to Billy Brennan's lovely hour. Two hours of lovely, lovely music. Yeah, she was outside in the yard throwing sandwiches at Father Shank, and a bird just flew down and stuck in her head. Mother of God, that's the fifth attack this week. What's wrong with these feckin' crows? Uh, I don't know. Jim Riley asked me to get a blood sample of one of them. He reckons it's their diet. But most people reckon the black and tans are involved somehow. Terry Shields heard one of the crows say Londonderry instead of Derry. But Terry Shields is deaf. Yeah, but he can lip read. <coughs> you alright there, Ned? Best thing for that is a sup of whiskey before you go to bed. Good stuff. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, Ned. I mean, we, we can't work for old Ned forever. Well, we could clone ourselves. For the last time, we can't clone ourselves. Fine, but we've worked there for 15 years. We're the only family old Ned has. Maybe after he goes, he could leave the pub to us. Yes, you're right. He hasn't met a will yet. <laughs> Tell you what, we'll talk to him tomorrow about it. <coughs> <coughs> oh, mother of God. This is him dying. Some of the whiskey you do me, I'm going to go to It's a double whiskey, yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> When they opened up the cow, they found a half-eaten fish, a number plate, and four dead ducks. <laughs> What's going on? Ned dead. And he left the pub to me, his best customer. It's all here on this will he wrote just before he died. Hey, this doesn't even have his full name. And Ned is spelled wrong. Uh, it's written on a slice of old ham. Doesn't matter. It's official legal document. We worked there for 15 years. He was like the father we never had. He have a father. He just thinks he's a pair of useless pricks. Francie's right. The boys have spent all their time in the pub working their hands to the bone. And Brendan the bio spent all his time in the pub blocking the toilet and talking about doing some feckin' musical about the IRA. Well, Brendan the bio deserves it a hell of a lot more than young pair of idiots. And I stand beside him and fight for the pub if it comes to it. I'll die for this pub! Jesus, settle down. Right, the only thing for it is to get wise old Dan down here and he'll settle it. It'll take him at least a week to get down from the mountains, so we'll meet on the 28th. And until then, no fighting. When's the last time you row? Soviet nuclear missile bases remain on the island and are rapidly becoming operational. Pressure on President Kennedy to order an airstrike or invasion is mounting. Who will strike first? One thing's for sure, it certainly looks like we are once again without a paddle on the floor of the pool. Hello there. Well, young lad, that's a fine big tractor you have there. Ah, oh, thanks very much. Listen, I'm on my way to see me uncle. He, he lives in a place called Ring Bile. Do you, do you know how to get there? What did you say? Uh, Ring Bile. You'll do well to stay the feck away from that place. There's a war going on down there. A deadly man war. A war? Between who? On one side is an evil old drunkard by the name of Brandon the Bio. Eyes as black as coal, and a heart as black as another bit of coal. He's as tall as a tractor, 
with arms as thick as the wheels of a tractor and the cold stony gaze of the front of a tractor. Basically, he's like a big drunk tractor. And on the other side, a Celtic warrior by the name of Francie Duck. He has the strength of ten men and the speed of a stallion and the sort of far away look in his eyes of some mad duck. Francie Duck, huh. And what was the name of the other lad? I don't know, sir. He doesn't have a name, so death can't find him. Thought you said his name was Brendan. Well, the day has finally arrived. Hey, the whole community is going mad. People barricading themselves inside for fear this row will take over the whole county. It'll be chaos. People selling their babies for turf and fags. Wild men fighting with big sticks in the streets. Children chewing chungum at mass. Black and tans and the backs of tigers bursting down every door. Slaughtering the women and raping the men. It'll be pure madness, Terence. Ah, uh, sure. It will be something different, I suppose. Everybody's blown this completely out of proportion. There's not going to be a big row. Yeah, you're right. Then why did you bring that crossbow? Uh, badgers. <laughs> How are you, Francie? <laughs> We're here for the fight. <laughs> yeah. Mary brought sandwiches. Be quiet now, folks, and we'll all have a wee pray before the fight. Ah, bollocks. Now listen, there's not going to be a fight. Where's wise old Dan? He didn't show up. Ah! Fucking crows. Well, that doesn't matter. Listen, we're rational human beings and this war is consuming the entire town. Mrs. Riley, we haven't received any post for a week because you've been digging a moat around the post office. And Terry, all your cattle are dead because instead of feeding them, you've spent the last 13 days making arrows. We're going to sit down like civilised Irishmen and work this out without violence. Uh, Jesus. What do you think, Jimmy? Without violence. Uh, Fuck it out. Without violence. Oh my god! Hey, give me that water! I'm going to need a lot of wee wee. The pub! We've destroyed the pub! This is surely a day that will live on in our memories forever. And years from now, when we're old and grey, lying in our deathbeds surrounded by our families, we can look back on this day and say, I kicked the shite in a Tamsi Sheehan. I have lived in important places. Times when great events were decided. Who owned that half a rude rock on no man's land? Surrounded by our pitchfork arm claims. I heard the Duffies shout, Damn your- Hey, everyone! Have you seen the papers? No. Brendan Behan got sick and somehow none. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>